What's up, guys? It's Panda here. Had a pretty hard day at work. Just want to kind of make you guys a new video. Talk about some things. Show you guys my level 100 stats. See if you guys can come back to conflict. You already tried it. If you guys already know about the new outfit. I'm gonna go over all of that. Sit back, relax, and let's get it. For those who haven't completed or haven't even tried conflict yet, you do get a outfit once you complete it at level 100. All right, so it's a nice little outfit. If you are enthusiasts like me, need it in your apparel. This is what it looks like, all right? So you got the hat, sunglasses, scarf, shirt, pants, shoes. Pants and scarf are really the only thing I like, but that's just me. It's a nice thing to complete. So uh, it's an easy grind too. It does not take long to get to level 100. So here you go. All right, so in the background, we are going to do one game of skirmish. All right, so this is a gameplay that I got 13 and 0 with the Savage Wolverine in the honeymoon stage. All right, so if you guys did not get this AR, go ahead and grab it. Um, conflict, I think, in the last part of TU6 is definitely an option. All right, my whole thing philosophy rather than just getting the uh, apparel and the reward I did want to see if I could take my gameplay from conflict and kind of see if it can improve my gameplay in the dark zone um, throughout the level 100 I come to find that it really the game modes are just completely different for obvious reasons right so one is just kind of just team deathmatch domination you have the dark zone that's kind of the open world weary you don't really know what's around you kind of feeling um so but the the play style is just completely different um when i'm playing conflict all i really see is bleed hives and seekers right because it's the mentality is just kill 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 um dark zone it's kind of just farming until you know people just start following you and get annoying and then you just flag up um so really dark zone as well it's really double heals and high armor right survivability that's the that's the key um and to shout out the guys that are top 100 you know you guys definitely have pushed me to become a better player i wouldn't be you know you you want to see the gameplay you see uh right now you know months ago when i when i first started you know in tu5 playing pvp and stepping in a dark zone um and i think my sensitivity was at like five or eight and now you know i'm playing at level 20 or sensitivity 20 um you know, I'm learning the mechanics, and I think that's one thing the community needs to understand. Video games nowadays, if you guys didn't know, like games are very all about mechanics. Um, so you see people dancing, you see people moving around, being hard to hit. That's just part of the mechanics. It's yeah, people want to say mouse, keyboard, this and that, um, you know, cheating, and but it's. It's giving yourself more of a chance to land your shots while the other person's missing. Um, so learn, learn why you died or didn't, you know, a certain gunfight didn't go your way. Don't just say, "Oh, that person's cheating," or you know, why, you know, and just start cursing them out. Um, <laughs> just the other days, you know, somebody was telling me to go kill myself, and it, it's, it's just like, why, like, you know. Um, what do you outplay somebody like that that's what it has to come down to like you know you gotta make a threat um no like learn learn and that that's no, i'm soaking it up like do i like getting smacked no do i like you know getting outplayed every single time i even try like no it, it isn't but 
eventually you pick up on what they're doing. You can pick up different counters. Like, again, people I play against don't like gank flanked. Uh, it's that that to them is like the worst thing that in this game is flanking. But it's in my mindset that like I kind of can pick up sometimes when to move and when to position myself behind or away. Like I don't face tank like people want you to face tank them like why would I want to put myself in a slight disadvantage possibly when I can rethink about a situation and put myself in a scenario where I'm gonna win the gunfight um, it's, it's astonishing to me uh, how people view different movements and stuff like that so that's just some tips um, what I think about, you know, conflict, it's a fun, to me it was fun, it, this whole grind, maybe it just was because I want to get to level 100, get the apparel, and then, you know, maybe not, uh, that it was a sick move, um, but, back to what I was saying, I, I think you can take builds or concepts that you have for the DZ and come into here more likely if you play solo like me a lot of times you're able to um, figure out what works how how to move with the build and all that and then you can go ahead and take it into the DZ um, just know guys like when you play and match make usually play solo you're gonna play with a bunch of randoms there might be possibly two people um, that are partied up um, but and then it just goes up from there so if you're with somebody then maybe you're gonna play against three people if you're with three people you might face like a full four man um, but how the matchmaking works it's it's decent I still don't I, man the connection in this game it needs to get worked on for TU7 um, this gameplay I felt really really good my shots were landing, I was able to play aggressive, um, but recently, uh, you probably saw the 15 abandons, um, you know, that's just poor connection, like, there's just games where it's just not working, um, and so I think they need to look into that, um, so that's the end of the gameplay, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you stick around for just a couple more minutes, we'll go over the stats, um, and, you know, hopefully you guys can take something from this video, apply it to, you know, conflict or the dark zone, but most importantly, I, you know, just keep having fun with this game. I think, uh, this game's going to be very, really good in TU7, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can just keep grinding together and making this community good, because, you know, this game's going to go as far as it can with the community it surrounds itself, so you guys are a part of that, so... Um, again, 13-0, it's a fun match, clutch, savage, wolverine, that's where it's at, but conflict's been fun, I definitely would go revisit it if uh, you guys stop playing it. Alright, hopefully you guys have made it this far into the video, I do appreciate it, so real quick, just drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Um, Conflict has definitely been a fun secondary game mode, if that makes sense. It's PvP, but again, uh, like we already have said, it's it's very, very different than Dark Zone. So it's a fun match. If you guys haven't tried it or you already got to level 100, you haven't really even touched Conflict, I suggest, you know, be kind of fun to get into. But uh, going through the stats real quick. 2.09 uh, it's kind of average um, kind of enjoyed myself I definitely played solo so these are basically a solo stats they're not really too much of a four man or party um, so just just be aware that I'm not playing with a group a lot of times skirmish is kind of the same thing um, almost 5,000 kills uh, headshots people I play and come up against it's it's kind of hard to get headshots uh, skills 
probably have only been one skill build this whole entire game, so I'm not for it. I like to use my weapon to get kills. Um, domination, full warning. It is a group of four that vote for domination. So, sweaty, 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 sweat fest. Domination is is the mode you want to play for. Um, not a lot of people vote for it, but if people start voting domination, it's because they have a plan. It's not going to be a fun match. Um, you probably have randoms on it. Your team, they have a full four man. It's not fun. Um, but we have played some of it. It is all right. Team elimination. I do want to play more of this. It is fun. I like S and D. Um, without the bomb, obviously. Uh, but seven and zero in it. Almost have a nine KD. So little quick tricks on team elimination. Just want to obviously know where the enemies are going to go. Stick to the opposite side of the map. Try to work your way around and back to them. So that's about it, guys. Uh, again, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Hopefully, we can uh, continue to grow this community. And uh, thank you so much for dropping by. Make sure you drop a like, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.